This is everything coming to Season 6 for Modern Warfare 3. The Black Island Battle Pass, new weapons, new maps, new game modes, zombies, Warzone, new Season 6 events, new prestige levels, new prestige camos, and much, much more. So stay tuned, drop a like, subscribe, and let's begin. <laughs> Let's start off with the Season 6 Battle Pass. So, the Season 6 Black Cell and Battle Pass is going to bring a horrifying lineup of new content and rewards. The Black Cell owners can access exclusive rewards and expect a new animated alone operator, which is a terrifying zombie mutation, and accompanying that are classic horror-themed operator skins and Battle Pass bonuses such as 1100 con points, yada yada yada, 20 tier skips, all that stuff that comes with it normally every season, and of course the weapon blueprints as well. The Season 6 Battle Pass is going to to introduce headliners such as Farah, Michael Myers, and Slamfire, who was a jock turned survivor equipped with sporting goods, as you can see on screen right now. Also, Michael Myers is going to bring his iconic bloodthirsty pursuit to the game, while Farah and Slamfire each offer unique skins and lore. The haunting event is something we'll touch on in a little bit. That's going to be awesome playing in that with Michael Myers. There's also 110 more pieces of unlockable content for season six. Just like every season, it's going to be a grind to get out, so make sure you subscribe. You see more glitches to get the battle pass equipped quickly and finish the tier 100 with uh, basically AFK glitches. That's right, subscribe to this channel, baby. Now let's head over to new weapons. So season six introduces two powerful new weapons to help players fend off terrifying threats. The DTIR 3006 is a battle, what's a weird name, what the hell, is a battle rifle featured in a battle pass. So you can obviously unlock it during the battle pass like every other season. Long range weapon with a slow hard hitting firepower, which is ideal for precision shots and conserving ammo, obviously. But also coming with that is a cast of LSW, which is another weird name. I don't know why they're choosing these random names. Like, anyway, a light machine gun in the battle pass, which will be unlocked as well. So they're the two new weapons coming to Modern Warfare 3. Let's go to the new maps that are cutting as well. Let's go on to the new maps for season six. So the multiplayer experience in Call of Duty is gonna expand with brand new 6v6 maps like drive Through, which takes place in a creepy clown themed restaurant, which actually looks really cool. And you're gonna be able to have to navigate that through a chaotic environment with multiple entry points and eerie visuals. Now there's also the Mad Cow variant, which is set in a flooded slaughterhouse and adds a gruesome horror twist to the obviously horror themed season 6 of Modern Warfare 3. And there's also five new shipment maps coming out as well, and that goes by the names of Arena Shipment, which is a weapons training map. You got Stay High, which is a bright, surreal visual map. Then you got Bitment with old school bit pixelated graphics, which is cool with a twist on the name Shipment Bitment, you know what I mean? And then you got Ghost Ship and Sunny Shipment as well, where they both will probably bring exactly what the name uh, entails. But what we can expect from these guys is each map is gonna deliver a fresh take on the fan favorite map, Shipment, and it's gonna be very exciting for all of us for season six. So I'm excited for that and you are probably as well. Now let's go to the new game modes, guys. So season six introduces thrilling multiplayer modes to Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3, including Horde. Horde Point, Arcade, Mutation, and Infected. So Horde Point, players have to defend a hard point against both enemies and zombies with multiplayer. That's awesome to hear. We're gonna get actual zombies in multiplayer. That's gonna be sick. And then we're gonna go on to Arcade, which is it enhances operators with the special abilities like Increase jump height and ground slam, yada yada yada. It's now mutation, guys. Literally pits human operators with kill streaks against mutants for unique classes, such as the agile mutated leper or the stealthy camouflage sneaker, leading to intense asymmetric battles. Now, finally, guys, infected returns, and it's with a horror twist as well. So players gotta hunt down survivors using claws and throwing knives to spread the infection. And obviously, they're gonna look like zombies as well. So we're getting lots of zombies in multiplayer and warzone because obviously we've got the haunting event coming. Coming. But speaking of zombies guys, let's go to see what's new in zombies for season 6 for MWZ. So the final season Modern Warfare 3 Zombies or Modern Warfare Z Zombies introduces exciting content and rewards celebrating the community with major long season bonuses. Players can access a free Dark Aether Rift runs without needing to offer a sigil, providing opportunities to earn powerful schematics, substantial XP and other rewards by surviving these challenging missions. And additionally guys, double schematic recovery time speeds up gameplay, allowing players to recharge schematics in half the time. 
throughout the entire season. This is like a thank you from um, Activision for participating in Modern Warfare Zombies for the last year. It's also obviously there to enhance uh, playing the last season for Modern Warfare 3. Obviously, we're all going to switch over to Black Ops 6. So it's a fun little way to end the season for Zombies also. Season 6 Call of Duty Warzone introduces terrifying new content, including the Hellspawn map variant of uh, Rebirth Island, where devilish tentacles, blood red waters, and eerie environments create a chilling experience. Players can also battle under Blood Moon in a Vondal Night, which is another map navigating dark canals while contending with undead threats and two limited time modes purgatory and zombie royale will bring chaotic undead filled gameplay now purgatory offers infinite respawns custom loadouts powerful loot strange mechanics like flying shipment and safe zones while zombie royale lets eliminated operators turn as zombies to come back and haunt the uh, remaining players that survive and the zombies have unique abilities seeking revenge on the living. Both of these modes are awesome and they deliver intense supernatural warfare for players brave enough to enter the new haunting terrains. Now let's move over to season 6 events. So first thing first, we've got uh, 5 events coming to Modern Warfare 3 season 6. The first one is going to be the haunting, which is September 18th to October 16th. October? <laughs> I mean October. You're going to embrace the eerie atmosphere with the chilling events and plenty of rewards throughout this Halloween themed event. So you're going to have like multiplayer, war zones, zombies, all of that stuff. You remember from last time where they had the uh, haunting uh, Modern Warfare 2? You got that really, really cool camo. I think it was called Gloomed or Doomed or whatever it's called. You can see on the screen right now, that one right there, there's going to be another camo like that, I'm pretty sure. So we're going to be able to unlock something like that for the future Call of Duties, which is going to be awesome. Then we have The Walking Dead, Road to Terminus from September 25th to October 2nd. You can earn XP unlocking exclusive rewards from The Walking Dead using Daryl Dixon operator for enhanced gameplay. Then you got the Trick or Treat Candy Hunt, which is October 2nd to October 16th. Collect candy during matches to earn rewards and get uh, tricks or treats. Just like last year's Halloween thing, it's the same thing. Use the Sam or Sam Unmasked operator for boost candy collection and fill the king size bar for the ultimate reward at the end of the event. Then we also have Purgatory Island and Modern Warfare 3 Rewind events coming out. So they all end October 16th which is pretty funny because I guess they're all haunting events as well. You're going to be able to reflect on a past content with a series of challenges for the Modern Warfare 3 Rewind and Purgatory Island. You're just going to go ahead and, and collect rewards while playing on Purgatory Island. Now let's go into new prestige levels. So season six is going to obviously get you get some uh, new weekly challenges and seasonal prestige rewards across multiplayer, zombies and Warzone. Players can complete weekly challenges to earn XP and unlock the drawn and corded animated mastery weapon camo, which features monster Monstrous faces emerging from the darkness. As you can see on screen right now, here's a photo. And the season six prestige system expands from finally level 1050 to 1250 and adds four new prestige ranks from prestige 22 to prestige 25. You can see all the levels and emblems on screen right now, guys, but keep in mind prestige 25 is gonna include the Wicked Knight weapon blueprint for the MCW assault rifle. So that's something to look forward to unlocking as well. Now the new prestige camo, this is where it gets interesting, guys. So season six has their final weapon prestige camo, so the fourth one that's coming in season six, and it's called Constellation's End. You can see what it looks like on screen right now, guys. This is how you're going to unlock it. Level up your weapon to its maximum level. Unlock the one trick prestige camo by earning 150,000 weapon XP. Then unlock the molten obsidian weapon prestige camo by getting an additional 200,000 XP. Then you're going to unlock the mercury weapon prestige camo by unlocking an additional 250,000 XP. And finally, guys, to unlock the Constellation's and prestige camo, you're going to earn another 300,000 XP additionally on top of all the other XP you got for that one weapon on its own. Pretty ridiculous, lots of grinding to do, but guys, trust me, I'm going to have heaps of glitches coming out for XP for Season 6, which is going to get you some mad weapon XP, so stay tuned, make sure you drop a like, subscribe, thank you guys so much for watching, I hope this got you with some insight and excitement for Season 6, I'll see you guys in the next video, Joey Rams out.